In this demonstration, we're going to show you how to manage the development lifecycle for visual applications with Oracle Visual Builder Studio. My name is Shai Schmelzer. In the demonstration, we're going to follow the complete lifecycle from tracking issues using our issue tracking system, managing and planning our agile development process using development sprint, managing versions of the code, visually modifying applications, previewing and sharing the modified application with other developers, conducting code merge reviews, and automating the complete continuous delivery of your application. We're starting with an application built with Visual Builder. The application is deployed, and you can look at the application over here. It has a dashboard with all sorts of data, and we can also drill down to see other pages in the application. For example, if we expand here and go to dashboard v3, we can see the page. As a user, you might notice that there's a missing piece of information here, for example, maybe a missing chart. So we're going to go into Visual Builder Studio and start by accessing our issue tracking system. And this is a built-in issue tracking system where we can track all our to-do. As a user, I might go in and put in a new task about the missing item. I can put, of course, summary, description, and provide a bunch of data on other fields. And some of the fields are customizable in terms of the lists, and some of them you can even add your own fields. In this case, we're defining a new task. We're going to set a priority to this task, assign it to a specific area of the product. This also impacts, for example, the default owner for this area. We can indicate when this is due and then provide an estimate of complexity with Agile points. Now we created a new task 41 in our issue tracking system. One place where those issues can be useful is in planning our project. Over here, we can look at the boards. This is a Scrum board. We also support Kanban. And over here, we're going to create a new sprint. Sprint is a development um, timeline for ourselves, and we're going to indicate how many points of complexity we're aiming to solve in this sprint, and then pick up issues from our backlog and bring them into the current sprint, aiming to develop and resolve them in the next development sprint that we're going to run. Once we have the issues in here, we can start the development sprint and indicate how long it's going to last. While a sprint is running, you can use the dashboards to look into the status of the various tasks, who in your team is supposed to do what, basically get an insight into the operation of your team. You can also modify the status of various tasks based on the progress you're making in there. Now let's switch over and look at the perspective of the developer working on the same project. We're looking at the same project dashboard. We can see the activity stream. We can see the latest issues that have been filed. We can also go into the issues and look at the issues that are assigned to me as a developer. I can then pick up a specific issue, click on it to get more information. I can update the issue and I can go over and modify code as needed for my Git repository. Since this is a visual application, I can also work with the designer to visually edit my code. Over here, I have a workspace pointing to my Git repository. I'm going to open the application in the visual editor. Here I have a visual way to modify my page. I can see the page. I'm currently working on the master branch. So I'm going to switch and create a new branch to make my changes in a separate branch. While I'm doing this, I'm also going to commit into the master any changes I've been working on before. So we'll put in a message over here for those changes. And we'll create the new branch. Changes in a branch allow me to modify the code without influencing the real live application. So over here, I need a new chart. So we'll pick one of the chart components that is built into Visual Builder, drag it into the page, and then use the quick start to add data to the chart from one of our business object, in this case, our sales object. We want to see the yearly sales that we're doing in a chart. I 
I can see it in the visual editor. I can also click the run button to see a preview of my whole application in a separate window. Over here, I can drill down to the page I just modified and see whether my implementation looks okay. It looks okay and I'm happy with the result. So the next thing I can do is share my application. Sharing the application provides another URL with a specific instance of the application that I can share with other people that want to test my application. Once an application has been shared, I can open it from here, see the application again working, see the page that I modified in this version of the application. And if I'm happy with the results, I can copy this URL and also include it, for example, in my commit message. So now let's take the changes I made and commit them and push them into my specific branch of code. So this would be my copy of the code um, and my branch with those changes in there. Next, I'm going to publish those changes into the master branch. But before we actually merge it into the master branch, we're going to go through a process of a merge review request. Over here, I'm going to provide an update on what the job is related to, what are the changes related to, and I can also, for example, put a link to the shared version of the application. I can choose reviewers for my code changes, so they would be able to give me comments on my code, and I can even indicate which issue in our issue tracking system those changes relate to. Clicking Publish would create a merge request in our system. Let's switch back into the other member of the team, into Mary's view of the project. Mary is going to go back to the home page and she would see that there's a new merge request over here. She would also get an email about this because she's one of the reviewers. She can go into the merge request section of Visual Builder Studio to look at the merge request, click on it, and get more information about what changes were done, seeing the notice from the developer, also seeing the link to the shared version of the application, and again, clicking on this application would allow her to see a test version of the page to see if the changes match what she wants. She can also go and see the exact changes in code uh, that were done and even give us comments on those lines of code. If she's happy with the result, she can approve those changes, provide us with some comment or text, and then even perform a merge of those changes from the separate branch into the master. In addition, we can delete the branch and mark the issue as resolved in our dashboard. Merging into master would then kick off a new build task, which we can see over here. Let's go and look at the configuration of this build job. This build job is configured to connect to our Git repository. It looks at the master branch of our Git repository and automatically invoked each time that the master branch is changed, for example, when we just change the code. It then optimizes the application, package it, and generate two zip files out of the application that are uh, ready to be deployed. We can see the build job progress over here, and we can also see that this build job is just one of the build jobs in this pipeline over here. So after we package the application, there's another job that takes the application and deploys it. And indeed, you can see the deploy job just started up here. If we click on the pipeline, we can see the status of our current run of the pipeline. Green indicates successful completion, gray indicates things that are still running, and red would indicate failures. The pipeline is now executing, it finished executing, so we are now in the green state. We can click on any of the jobs and look at the log file to see exactly what we did in our job, including the deployment step over here. We can also go directly to the environment where we deployed to and query the existing deployments over here. We can see the deployment that was just finished now, and we can also see the deployment of the shared version that was done a few minutes ago. Okay, let's look at the application as it was before and now hit the refresh button to see if our changes got applied to the deployed application. This completes 
the process of making changes and deploying them to a running application, all automated with Visual Builder Studio.